The day Roberto Baggio refused to take a penalty kick against his former club. In 1990, Baggio was sold to one of Fiorentina's rivals, Juventus, for 8 million euros, the world record transfer fee for a footballer at the time. Following the transfer, there were riots in the streets of Florence, where 50 people were injured and 9 people were arrested. Baggio made a public statement to his fans, saying, I was forced to accept the transfer. The truth was that Fiorentina were struggling financially, so they sold their best player Baggio, although Baggio himself wanted to stay at the club, but the Fiorentina president forced him to leave. When Baggio was presented as a Juventus player, Baggio refused to wear a Juventus scarf, leading to many Juve fans hating him. But things got worse when Juventus played away at Fiorentina's home stadium on April 6, 1991. Bad tension was in the air as the once beloved player returned home. Fiorentina fans booed and threw objects at Baggio as he was looked upon as a club trader. After the first half, Fiorentina were leading 1-0 and a couple of minutes into the second half, Baggio dribbled into the penalty box and was fouled and the penalty was given. Baggio had been Juventus' first choice penalty taker scoring 5 penalties that season, but this penalty was something Baggio wanted no parts of, as he was in a no-win situation. If he scored, he would be hated even more by Fiorentina fans, and if he missed, he would be hated by Juventus fans. So Baggio politely refused to take the penalty. The responsibility was then left to Luigi D'Agostini, but he missed the penalty. This angered the Juventus manager, who subbed out Baggio a few minutes later. Here you can see Baggio going to the bench, and objects were being thrown at him. Baggio grabbed his stuff and headed to the locker rooms. As he was walking back to the locker rooms, a fan threw a Fiorentina scarf at him. He picked up the scarf and carried it with him. When fans saw him do that, the stadium erupted in cheers and support. That moment turned into the headline of the week, but it also angered over 300 Juventus supporters who attended their next practice and let him hear it with boos and criticism. Juventus coach Luigi Maifredi was quick to defend Baggio, telling them, had an ex-Juve player done the same, they would have been proud of his action. He also stated, make sure to leave a like and follow winning football. What would you guys do if you were in Baggio's shoes? Would you take the penalty or let someone else take it? Let me know in the comments.